Ken Bank. He's uh, retiring this year as well. He's going to be a very good uh, board member for us. Ken, will come forward? all about it. It's a little shoulder surgery I had. I was wrestling a lion out on the golf course. And, uh, I didn't do so well, so. But uh, Doc Klesky got me fixed up. I should be okay in a few more weeks, so thanks for your concern. Uh, I like, yeah, thanks. Thanks, Mary. You're next. Uh, oh, thanks, Bill. I'd like to uh, thank the, the mayor and the power and the city officials for big hands this evening, as well as the county officials and all our dignitaries this evening. Thank you for being here. I'd like to welcome you as well. Um, I've enjoyed my time working with the mayor and Howard and Jan. Uh, I've been able to have the pleasure of going to uh, meetings um, and talking about economic development. And uh, it's been fast paced at times, and uh, we've really had some, uh, some wins this year. And, uh, I'd like to congratulate you on those, and I wish you luck in the future as well. It's not easy, not an easy job. It was a very busy year, and, and uh, many th exciting things did happen. Um, and Jan, I'll never know how in the world you keep up with things, but uh, you, you're a very busy girl. Uh, speaking of keeping up, you walk into the chamber office. I did that, had the pleasure of doing that a lot this year, and you walk in there, and when you walk in the door and you see Lacey, and she's the first person to greet you every time, just do an outstanding job. She's your face on the front of the lines of the chamber, and she does a wonderful job doing that, along with everything else you do. Really appreciate your help. Lori, she keeps up with our membership. And like Randy said, we have a lot of members and uh, <coughs> different things that we do with our membership. And uh, she keeps up with the expo area up there, keeping that you know checked in and out, and people use it, uh, along with everything else she does. I'm not certain I know everything these girls do, but they do a lot. <laughs> Rachel. My goodness gracious, she had a baby this year, and congratulations, Rachel, and, uh, and everything that she does still as she was going through that, uh, that whole thing, as well as, uh, you know, the, the newsletter, we see that every month, and, um, and my gosh, the, the website, if you haven't been to the website, go check it out, it, it changes a lot, so uh, I'd like to just thank everybody for your efforts, and it's your wonderful asset to this organization, and, uh, and uh, thank you for everything you do. A few areas of focus that I had this year, um, one, I showed you the housing development pictures here last year and what uh, hope that we could do something on, up there on the north side of town. It's not that that's not going to happen, but it's not quite the way I'd hoped. Um, uh, with things that have happened this year and uh, we, we have gone through, that's a very expensive project and I'm not certain that ever, anybody wants to invest that much at this moment in, in this world. Um, but we are putting together a square block of land, uh, thanks to the city with their efforts getting it all replatted with us, helping us through that process. Jason Mayers um, had the property and stuff, but we have some lots ready that have been replatted, and uh, we have plans ready, we have builders, and we have an opportunity for people to build some houses. So if you know anybody who wants to build a house, you know, I kept using the word moderately priced. Not sure what that figure is at this time, but that's uh, not what I thought it was. <laughs> but uh, that's just not an easy thing to do in this day and age. But uh, we still have some, some ways to get some things done. So if anybody else wants to help monetarily to, to get this project going, we have something we can show you there as well. So uh, come and join the fun. But uh, like I say, people are ready and we're ready to move now. Uh, another thing, uh, the Great Bend Farm Show, you know, that was something that was thrust upon us this year. With the three I show backing out of and moving out of town, we just had to do something. 
a farm show in this community is part of our culture. We just felt that we just had to keep it here. And with uh, the work of a lot of folks, it took a lot of time and effort, but uh, we had our executive board and our board of directors that just said, no way, we're not going to make this happen. Jan Westfall stepped up, said, I'll chair this committee. We put a task force together, and we found a way to get this done. Uh, took a lot of time. Like I say, we took our time to make sure we made the right decisions. And folks, I'll tell you right now, we had a lot of possibilities with other promoters. And uh, we just you know, interviewed them, talked to the folks. And as they were introduced earlier this evening, Darren and Tannadale back there, they're definitely going to be a good team to be on our with this in this project. Working with Jan and the committee chairs is just going to be fabulous. They're going to put together one of the best farm shows in the region. This farm show has helped another focus area. It was trying to get more activity out of the Expo area. That complex out there is just wonderful. It's a diamond in the rough that we have. And I don't believe that we use it, utilize it enough. And so I just hoped that we could do more activities out there. Having a farm show every year now versus every other year, we've doubled our activity there already just in that one thing, but um, along with the Spring Expo and the Bike Rally, that's really stepped up. Uh, the Bart County Fair, they just put on an outstanding fair out there every year. The SRCA puts on all those activities all throughout the summer uh, months, and they just do a, a really good job keeping that facility busy, but uh, there's still more activities. We have some new events that are going to start this year that uh, you'll hear more about uh, very soon, and uh, it's going to be very exciting. We also uh, started the committee this year with the Chamber. Uh, the SRCA and the Bart County Fair. We have two board members from each of our organizations that meet. Uh, we've done that about quarterly now and just talk about that expo complex, uh, what it is, what it could be, what's breaking, what should be fixed, and prioritize those kind of things. We work with the city after we developed a list of things that we thought that needed to be done right away and some needs that we needed for our upcoming farm show. Now that we've closed the drag strip forever, that we can't utilize that crossover. They put in a new um, loading dock for us out in the infield. That's already done and completed. It's just very nice. Uh, they put in a new road that goes on that north runway, maybe the south runway, out to the west to that black top. So we have another entrance and exit out of the facility, along with some pavement um, projects that the SRCA has done, along with the city. They fixed some uh, loading dock there between the two buildings and along with some other projects. So we thank the city for taking the effort there uh, uh, doing those things. Thank you very much. And then uh, we are just uh, working together just to better think on how we can utilize that as, an as all those organizations together that we keep our calendars focused that we all know what's going on out there. Another thing uh, that's been very positive this year is our Young Professionals Organization. Um, these folks, um, this this project kind of came up and kind of set, set back a little bit, but we have some new blood in this thing. Um, my kids, in fact, Christy and, and then Darren Straub, they just flat uh, worked with Rachel on that, and they've got over 100 plus members to this thing. They had this wonderful event out at our business one evening, having some beverages and some food, and, and everybody had a great time. But what this group is, is to get keep our young people involved, find ways that we can keep them injected into our community. They want to get involved in the city and the county government and other uh, organizations throughout the community. So if you uh, have some need for some people, I would go to the Young Professionals Organization. I would also ask you, most of us here are still young, we're professionals. And, uh, as my, my daughter and son said, anybody who has a job is a young professional. So. Get, those, get your folks involved and in, in, uh, have a good touch with them or anybody at the chamber, and we can keep, get you involved in that. So, these focus areas, along with everything else that just came at us all year long, it's just uh, been a very exciting year. Uh, with the board of directors and executive team that's coming on now, that's there and in place, uh, it's just sure to be another exciting year. I would just like to say I'd like to thank you for allowing me to be your chairman. It's been a wonderful year. Um, wouldn't trade it for anything at this time. And if you didn't have a chance to do it, uh, say yes. It was truly a great year, so uh, I'd like to say God bless you all, and uh, thank you very much.
like to introduce uh, our incoming chairman uh, for 2012, Chad Summers. Thank you, Ron, um, and appreciation of your service to the chamber. Chairman, No uh, stool. And uh, Doc Fluxy told me that uh, there's no guarantee that that uh, surgery is going to correct your slice. So <laughs> it's an honor to serve as your chairman of the 2012 Great Bend Chamber of Economic Development. Uh, today we celebrate 90 years of the business community. Recently, the chamber held a visioning session with the goal of trying to answer where do we want to be five years from now in terms of economic development. Before we can answer that question, we look first must understand where our success has come from over the last 90 years. First and foremost, it's community. This community helps others in need when organized can do great things. Best example of this, and most recent example of this, was in 2011, the Relay, Relay for Life campaign in Barton County uh, was recognized as one of the top contributing uh, counties on a per capita basis. Secondly is our workforce, flexible, capable, adaptable, and of course, hardworking. After graduating from K-State, I was hired by a company from California. I asked them why they came all the way to Manhattan, Kansas to interview versus just hiring somebody from California. He told me whether they were looking for an accountant or an engineer, best employees were right here in the Midwest. The best employees were in Kansas. He continued to say that nearly everyone had a farming background or was maybe a generation or two removed from farming. And most had held jobs before it was legal to work. <laughs> At the time, I didn't understand. I just didn't get it. I assumed that the rest of the country was raised just, just as me, more or less. All it took was one flight to California, and I clearly understood what he meant. <laughs> Thirdly, our location. Some people may see this as a negative, but I see it as a positive. Uh, tourism, agriculture, energy, water, education, Bart County Community College. And finally, the most important ingredient to our historical success has come from previous generations who made investments, the risk takers who had a long-term vision. Without this, there would not have been 90 years for the chamber. So the challenges, or perhaps opportunities, that we must prepare ourselves for now in order to stay relevant for the next 90 years. First, retention of our youth, retention of our greatest product. In order to have sustainable growth, we need a sustainable workforce. Second regional partnerships. They are being developed in counties south of us and west of us for two reasons. Number one, to have a larger collective voice for the purpose of state and federal funding. Two, for the purpose of pooling resources to compete in a globalized economy. Thirdly, is globalization. We need to understand or we're going to be left behind. Think about it. If you have an idea today for a new electronic gadget, you can pick up the phone and call a design firm in Taiwan have it built in China, and have it delivered to your doorstep by Amazon.com. How can we participate? How can this community participate in the global economy? Finally, keeping up with change, changing of technology. Did you know that eight years ago, Facebook didn't exist? Twitter was a sound. The cloud was the, in the sky. 4G was a parking spot. LinkedIn was a prison, and applications were what you sent to college, and for most people, Skype was a typo. <laughs> how do we keep up? So our challenge is to figure out how we leverage our community workforce, location, along with ever-changing technology to provide products and services to the new global economy. In closing, I would like to thank each of you in this room who defend the morality of free enterprise system by placing capital at risk, because ultimately, this is what creates business, which creates jobs, which provides upward mobility to grow families, which blossoms communities. Thank you to all, everyone who works hard every day to make this community better. Looking forward to the next 90 years, but I'm definitely looking forward to 2012. Thank you. <laughs>